All right, the second one we're going to cover today. Now, this is one that I want to say about a year ago, I accidentally slipped at this being produced, and I had no idea if this information was public or not. Luckily, people in the comments more than a year ago went, wait, did he just say blue, blue streak? And it kind of just, you know, quietly went away, and that was that. Um, so here it is. We're going to have a blue, blue streak, a blue repaint of the Blue Streak Earthrise mold. No surprise that this is coming in, in many ways or shapes or forms. For people that aren't familiar with what this is, because we always do have new listeners in the Transformer community, people that are you know unfamiliar with the lore and history of stuff like that, I'll just pretty much make a quick version of this in a lot of ways. So uh, welcome to the Transformer community, and uh, don't trust anyone who has a goatee. That's all I'm going to say. That guy over there, yeah, don't trust him. Anyways, so Blue Blue Streak essentially was this, this giant myth within the Transformer world because when the original instructions and catalog of the 1984 lineup came out, uh, the Blue Streak toy, instead of it being its traditional silver that it was in hand in product, in the instructions... And in his catalog photography, he was blue. And people, it led to all kinds of myths and, oh, I had a blue, blue streak growing up. And, you know, there was a, a run of them that were available. The reality was, is all the photography for the original 1984 lineup, including both the catalog and the instructions, some of those toys were their Diaclone or Microman counterparts. If you look at the Soundwave one, he has a blue piece of tape right across his chest covering the Cassette Man Micro Man logo in both his instructions and in the catalog. So I don't see many people telling me how they grew up with a G1 Soundwave with a blue piece of tape on his chest. But yet there's so many people saying they had a blue, blue streak. Hey, maybe they did, but they had the Diaclone one if that was the case. Or maybe a Diachrone one if you're in Europe. But the point being is that this was a giant myth that supposedly that this character was available in retail locally in the Western world. It led to all kinds of little things here and there, and that is that. On the creative side of things, uh, Blue Streak actually was supposed to be blue. When they were doing the first draw-ups for the original character uh, models, and then later on, of course, the color designs and the color guides, Blue Streak was supposed to be blue. What happened was when they got to the Marvel comic side of things, because the Marvel comic did come out before the cartoon did, for whatever reason, they took those character models and the character guides by Fleur O'Deary, and they went with their own color palettes, obviously for the, the color limitations that existed back then with 80s Marvel comic books. We got a blue streak that was silver. Through one shape or another, that led to the silver blue streak we have today in the cartoon uh, afterwards by Sunbow and Marvel Entertainment in 1984. So that's how we ended up with a silver blue streak in the end and how that's pretty much the standard of how that character is despite his name. Now... I mean, if you want to really go into the weeds of it, you know, from my car side of things, well, when when you really, 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 really go deep into it, like, that alt mode that he turns into is, as in, in the Western world, was known as a Datsun 280Z. It was a second generation Datsun. In the Japanese world, it's known as the Fair Lady 280Z or the Nissan S130, I believe it's its designation number. And the whole blue color scheme with it was because that specific model in Japan was sold exclusively through the Nissan Bluebird stores. And the blue was its eye-catch color, much like a Subaru Impreza with their electric blue or a Ferrari with red. It's their iconic color was the blue streak blue or the blue the, the bluebird blue as it was called in stores and it's the fair lady you know it's it's it, there's a whole bunch of deep history with that later on the uh the 280z would get replaced with the 3 300zx which i i think is probably one of the best nissan cars ever made but that's my own personal opinion but uh that would then be the retired version so that's kind of also why blue streak is blue uh, going back to even its Diaclone origins was because that was the iconic color associated with that that alt mode within the car world because of the blue the Bluebird stores in Japan. So 
now we have this. Getting back to now, let's talk about the product here. A Earthrise Blue Blue Streak that is going to be available. We only have photos here of the robot mode right now. The alt mode images are out there. It's just, I'm not going to talk about them until they're public. But I figured I'd just use this opportunity, if anything, just to let people know that this does exist. This is coming. And for people that aren't familiar with why is this a blue blue streak? What's the story with that? Why is this character like this? Why is there an uh, alternate color schemes of him? Why is there an expensive masterpiece repaint of him in that color scheme? Which I still think is one of the most gorgeous looking masterpieces of the, that like uh, that Hasui era of masterpiece engineering. But it's awesome. It's really cool. Always had a soft spot also for blue streak. He kind of was one of those characters that uh, I feel like, yeah, I remember years ago I did a personality test of uh, Generation 1 Transformers, and for some reason I got like 80 to 90% blue streak. I'm pretty sure some people are like, yeah, yeah, Proto Man's blue streak. He doesn't shut up. But yeah, that's probably it. That's probably it. But the point is, is that I uh, always had a nice little connection with that character. Loved his alternator toy. Oof, that alternator toy absolutely amazing i'm a subaru guy so that just that just sealed the deal in a lot of ways but so this is coming it's a one for one uh no new retooling here just uh paint deco changes otherwise everything is exactly the same but uh pretty exciting stuff i'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are really excited about it so there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff coming in the near future so definitely keep an eye out for that again this friday this friday friday the 13th good old lucky friday the 13th Actually, it's kind of ironic because the Diaclone designated number for Blue Streak was Lucky 7, and now it's Friday the 13th coming up. Uh, for Fan First Friday, Hasbro Pulse Transformers, we're going to get a whole bunch of reveals. So get ready for that. Get your wallet ready. Warm up that credit card because uh, it's coming. It's coming. So check it out, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this. And, of course, our Huffer segment that we just did previously um are you excited about these guys i'm pretty sure there's gonna be a few other things that are get, we're gonna be talking about uh this coming weekend because there's more than just these two here that are on the plate for the reveals coming up this weekend but pretty exciting stuff pretty pretty exciting stuff i love it when we get these diaclone color schemes hopefully one day maybe we'll get a black iron hide or a red mirage or a red mirage i'd love but you know a red mirage or any of those wacky diaclone color schemes that came in multiple different variations just because these guys at the end of the day they were really more a separate you know a celebration of those car designs than they were being robots and those cars come in multitudes of different colors from their dealerships so this is pretty exciting stuff let me know what you think, and uh, we'll be talking really, really soon about these guys again in the near future.